Colin Kaepernick returned to the field, reassuming the San Francisco 49ers starting quarterback job. In a 45-16 loss to the Buffalo Bills, Kaepernick completed 13 of 29 pass attempts for 187 yards, while rushing for a team-high 66 yards on eight attempts. But it was Kaepernick's opponents off the field that made the most noise. When he kneeled for the national anthem, joined by teammates Eric Reed and Eli Harold, chants of USA broke out across New Era Stadium. Kaepernick addressed those critics who feel his stance for social justice and equality is un-American, saying in part, quote, I don't understand what's un-American about fighting for liberty and justice for everybody, for the equality this country says it stands for. To me, I see it as very patriotic and American to uphold the United States to the standards that it says it lives by. As he took the field, thunderous boos rained down on the embattled quarterback. Despite the outpouring of hostility directed at Kaepernick, he was focused on football in the Buffalo Bills, saying that he wasn't really listening to what was going on in the stands. Kaepernick donned a Muhammad Ali t-shirt before and after the game as a way to pay homage to the late boxer and global humanitarian. When speaking of Ali, Kaepernick said in part, quote, He was someone that fought a very similar fight and was trying to do what was right for the people. What he did and what he stood for, people remember him more for that than they do a boxer. I can't let him die in vain. I have to try to carry that on and try to fight that same fight until we accomplish our goal. Kaepernick has stated that he will continue to exercise his constitutional right as an American, kneeling as a form of peaceful protest against the oppression of black people and the ongoing onslaught of police brutality facing the black community. Outside the stadium, Kaepernick had some fans in Buffalo. A few dozen people marched in support of Kaepernick. They planned to kneel in solidarity with Kaepernick during the national anthem. Meanwhile, a number of savvy entrepreneurs tried to capitalize on people's hatred for Kaepernick, selling hateful t-shirts like this one in the parking lot. Some Bills fans took a different approach to exercise their American freedoms. At one tailgate, some fans took turns playing Tackle the Muslim. According to the Monday Morning Quarterback, one fan screamed Tackle the Muslim before a woman took off, knocking over a dummy wearing a Kaepernick number no. 7 jersey and an afro. At another nearby tailgate, one man did take a knee drinking alcohol in an unorthodox, unsanitary manner. Welcome to Buffalo. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.